Hello everybody, Aaron here and welcome to the Facebook Live broadcast uh, for Yamaha AV Singapore. Today, we're going to talk about music cast, what is music cast and uh, how it can help you spread your music throughout your home. Alright, so thanks for joining us today. Um, this is something that we're going to do on a monthly basis now. We have had a few previous uh, shows before. And in fact, the next live show we'll be doing is uh, next month in February. Sometime we're still confirming the details, but most likely towards the end of February, we'll be doing another live show as well. Uh, I'll tell you the topic later. But we need your help because, like I said, we're still new to this. We want to figure out you know, what's good for you. So. Right now, we have been doing it on Fridays, 7.30. If you feel like there is a better time that you prefer, do let us know. Give us some feedback. Let us know what is a better time for you and we'll try and adjust our schedule accordingly. Yeah. But in the meantime, again, welcome. For those of you who just came in, this is Aaron here. I'm Aaron. I'm at the Yamaha AV Experience Studio here in Plaza Singapura 06-02. So if you are outside our store, you can walk by and say hello to me. Yeah? If not, uh, we can proceed. So, today we are going to find out how Yamaha can help you spread your favorite songs throughout your entire home. And for Yamaha, we have a system called Music Cast. It is our wireless multi room audio system. And um, yeah, so we'll go deep into it. We'll find out how we can use it, what is the app you need to download, what products can be used and uh, how it can help you spread music throughout your home. All right, so let's go on to the next slide. So what is music cast all about really? First of all, of course, music sharing. So with music cast, you can share your favorite songs across your home with any music cast device. So you can have music cast wireless speakers, you can have music cast sound bars, right? You can have even a music cast turntable that allows you to play vinyl without connecting with, uh, with wires wirelessly across uh, all your music cast system. And we'll show you how later. In fact, uh, after this uh, presentation, we'll go into a straight demo with the app itself. So in the meantime, let me switch it on, make sure that it's working, yeah? Okay. Now, Music Cast is not only sharing about, it's not only about sharing music. You can share anything, anything that the, the Music Cast device is receiving, you can share it across your Music Cast devices. So for example, you can have a uh, console game that's connected to your soundbar, and you can link it to another speaker, to let's say uh, in your kitchen or in your study room and play and they can hear you playing your games. You can be watching soccer in your living room on your home theatre system and you can cast it to another room so that they can hear what's going on on the, on the, on the, on the game as well. It can be a movie as well. So again, you can have a movie playing on the soundbar on music cast and then you can link it to another set of speakers that's linked to a music cast system in another room and you'll be able to hear the same thing that you're listening. So this is not only about sharing music, but it's about really, it's about audio. It's about sharing your audio throughout your home, home audio. And for our, we have two systems here. As you can see, there's music cast surround and music cast stereo. If you have a home theater system, you want to start the home theater system at home. What is the biggest complaint? The surround speakers at the back, you have to pull wires, you know, you have to get a contractor. Uh, if you don't have false ceiling, false walls, you, you need to put trunking and things like that. Very unsightly for you to be able to link your surround speakers uh, behind. Now with the music cast system, there are, three, there are two components that you can use wirelessly. One, you can use a wireless subwoofer. Right? So you can have a home theatre system with a wireless subwoofer and most importantly, you can have a home theatre system with wireless rear surround. So the 
two rear speakers at the back. Rear left, rear right, you can use two wireless uh, music card speakers and have them play audio from the back. All you need, of course, is a PowerPoint to be able to plug those speakers into. Uh, the, but the point is that you don't have to pull speaker cables from the front of the room to the back. Probably much easier to find power points at the back and the walls already. Yeah? And for our standalone uh, wireless speakers, you can link them up and use them as a stereo pair as well. Right? And it's not only about sharing audio, it is also about streaming. So off the bat, without using Bluetooth, our systems, most of our music cast devices will support these services that you see here. You know, Spotify, Tidal, Napster. For internet radio, we're using Arable. So with internet radio, you can not, not only listen to your local station, but you can listen to international radio as well. As long as you have an internet connection and it's connected to your music cast device, you can listen to radio. And it is not subject to the, the environment around you. So some of you may live in an area where the, the, the free-to-air radio reception is very poor, uh, but I'm sure you have internet, right? So as long as you have internet connection, be it wired or wireless at home, you can listen to radio, right? Using the Arable system. And now you also uh, support, we also support Amazon Music and Deezer as well. And of course, Oh, this way, uh, the available services depends uh, on, on where you're from. So different countries will have different services available to them. Okay? So if you have any questions, feel free to type them in chat. Uh, when we have time, we'll talk about it later, okay? So for connectivity, you can, have wi you can choose wireless or wired, right? You can, have, you can connect your music class devices via Wi-Fi, or via Ethernet connection. So some of you may live in a location where there's a lot of interference, maybe because the, the whole area has a lot of different Wi-Fi signals, or maybe some of your houses, you have certain infrastructure in the walls that prevents good transmission of uh, Wi-Fi. Then you may need to use Ethernet, right? So the point is that it is flexible. You can use wire or Wi-Fi connection if you want. And of course, for Bluetooth, Bluetooth is nothing new. You use your headphones, a lot of portable Bluetooth speakers use it, a lot of uh, home theater systems, sound bars receive Bluetooth. For music cast devices, we are able to not only stream to receive a signal from a Bluetooth device like a, like a, like a phone or, a, uh, or your tablet, but you can also stream from a music cast device, right, via Bluetooth to headphones or speakers. So for example, our turntable, uh, quite a few turntables in the market can do the same thing. You can play vinyl and have it streamed to your Bluetooth headphones. And for our soundbar and home theater systems, right? Let's say you're, you're watching late at night, your family is asleep, uh, your spouse is sleeping, you don't want to disturb them, but you know, maybe you can't sleep or you're, you're, you're working a shift or something like that and you want to be able to enjoy your movie. Uh, you can just use your existing device. You don't have to buy any new connections You're from your soundbar or your AV receiver. You can connect via Bluetooth and have the show that you're watching stream to your headphones. Very convenient. And of course, uh, for most of our music cast devices, you have Spotify and you have AirPlay connectivity as well. And it's 2022. Automation, home automation. Yeah. So if you have... Uh, if you have an Alexa system or you work with Google Assistant, you can use them to use voice commands to control our devices as well. So some minor uh, linking considerations, right? So when you add the device into the MusicCast app, um, each device, each MusicCast device, we call it a room. So you can technically have multiple devices in one room, but for the app consideration, just remember that each device, we call it one room lah, inside the app. So per location, per home, you can have up to 32 devices. That's a, that's a lot. So you can have 32 sound bars, you can have 32 speakers, you can have 10, you can have, can have 10 home theater, music, music house home theater systems and another 10 so, uh, sound bars spread in your house. 
right? So a maximum of 32 per location and to link them together. So you will want these devices to play the same sound. There is a, the limit is 20 if they are wired. That means if you are connected uh, via the ethernet cable or if you are only using wireless, 10 devices can be linked together, right? So just something to take note of. Most of you won't, are unlikely to hit the limit, lah, so don't worry, yeah? And all these is because of a free app, which you can download now. So as you can see, the QR code is on the screen here. If you don't have, uh, even if you don't have a Yamaha device now, you can download, you can scan the code using your phone and download the app and play around it. You know, it's free. There's even a demo mode for you to use, right? Even if you have no Yamaha devices, music card devices to use with, right? And of course, what are the music cast devices that we can use with, use with? We have so many products that we have. It's not really limited to you know, a few speakers and a soundbar. So our AV receivers are music cast capable. So for our AV receivers, they can do two things. One, of course, you can stream to an AV receiver, to a music cast AV receiver, you know, Spotify and all that. For, you can use it to do music cast around the rear two speakers, you can use a music cast wireless subwoofer with this, right? And of course, you can link this wirelessly or wi over your network, over your home network to other music cast devices at the home, in your home. So from here, you can spread it to, let's say, a music cast soundbar. So same thing, you can stream via music cars, you can stream, stream your favorite Spotify music to soundbars, from soundbars. So let's say you have this TV connected, you're using your smart TV features and it's playing, you're watching Netflix on this TV, for example, and it's connected to a music cast soundbar. You can then broadcast your Netflix shows audio to other music cast devices in your home. Yeah? And of course, network receivers. These are stereo amplifiers with network capability built inside. So one unit like this, this is the RN803. Uh, you have everything built inside. It is a fantastic uh, stereo amplifier. And then you can use your MusicCast app to control. You can stream music to it. Again, you can link your, what you're listening here to other devices around the room. You can use the app control to switch it on, to switch on and off, control the volume from anywhere in your home. And we also have micro hi-fi systems that are music cast capable, yeah? Same thing, and even better. So we were talking about turntables. Now this micro hi-fi has a CD player, right? Hmm, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Correct. You can play a CD here and link it to your uh, to the other music cast devices at home. So this can be so you can have this one CD player and if you have your music car speakers or receivers or stereo amplifiers spread throughout your home, you can listen to the CD throughout your whole house using music cars with just this one CD player over your network. And of course, we have network streamers. For example, here, this is the WXA50, WXC50. This is the pre-amplifier version. So, for example, what if you have a, uh, your existing stereo setup? We have a lot of customers coming to us, you know, asking, you know, hey, Aaron, uh, I have a 20-year-old amplifier. Still sounds very good. Still working very well. Immaculate condition. And then they'll show you the photo, you know, wow, very nice. Still very polished and things like that. But no streaming. Lah. So I want to make it modern but I, I don't want to change my whole amplifier setup, right? Ah, then you can use something like this. So it is this particular unit over here. This is a streamer with music cast inside. It acts as a source. So you can just get this unit, 
plug into your existing amplifier system and you have modified and modified you have modernized your 20 30 year old uh, hi-fi setup at home right you can listen to to to, to spotify you can have uh, flag files on your PC streaming straight to your to your 20 year old audio system just because of this unit right here yeah and you can for this particular model you can use this as a preamp as well and we have another version of this which is a power amplifier on its own so if you have for example you have a pair of bookshelf speakers lying around right Immaculate condition, I don't know, 10 years old, 15 years old, in the, in, the, in, the, in the storeroom somewhere. You don't want to waste it. But you don't want to get a whole new large amplifier set up. You know, you just want to maybe put it in the study room. It doesn't need to be very powerful. You want you to use it as a background uh, system for background music. You can connect your speakers directly to this unit here. And then your speakers become a music hub speaker. Right, so for this streamer, it's fantastic. You have two options. You have the pre-amplifier version. So for this version, you cannot connect your speakers directly to it, but you can use it as a source. You can use this as a preamp for your existing amplifier systems. And if you want to connect your speakers, your existing passive speakers directly to a streamer, you can get this. So your speakers will be connected directly to this power amp and they become a wireless music car speaker in your home. Yeah? The flexibility is fantastic. And of course, network CD players. So if, again, we had a micro high five, a bit in CD, for this, this is a standalone CD player with network capabilities, with music cast capability inside. So you can use this as a streamer as well as a CD player. Again, Aaron, I have a 15-year-old amplifier system at home. Sounds fantastic. But my CD player, spoiler, I'm looking for a new CD player. And also, I want to be able to modernize it. I want to uh, add streaming capabilities. I want to listen to Spotify. I want to listen to lossless uh, flag files. You can get this. This particular model is the CD-NT670. And so this is two in one. You plug this into your existing system. It becomes a CD player. It becomes a, a streamer for your existing amplifier. And if you have other music cast uh, amplifiers or speakers around your home, you can stream your, your, your files from here and link them to the other speakers, to the other music cast devices in your house. And of course, our network turntable. This is the Musicast Vinyl 500. And this is unique because there are already vinyl players on the market that do streaming via Bluetooth. Mm. So the thing with Bluetooth is it's fantastic. Bluetooth is fantastic because of it. We are, we are mobile everywhere. We, have, we, are, we get to listen to music on the go. Uh, however, there are some limitations. Even with the latest codec now, there is still some... How do you say? Slight uh, compression, right, of audio. So if you want to reduce that, our turntable, this Musicast Vinyl 500, when it streams your vinyl to the other devices, it does not use Bluetooth. It goes over the network. It goes over your home network, your Wi-Fi network. There's a much there's much higher bandwidth for for. Uh, better quality sound to spread throughout your house. Yep. So, and the, is there no compression? You can set it as lossless, no compression, or you can set it as compressed. This will depend on your network uh, quality. So, of course, if let's say you have a lot of devices on your network, your network is congested at home, you may have to, you may have to set it to compress. But even then, it's still higher quality than Bluetooth because it is 200 kbps per, per, per channel. So it's pretty good. But of course, ideally, 
if you are spreading, uh, if you have a turntable and you want to stream it to another music class device over your network, you can set it as compressed as well, if you have a good network, yeah? And of course, our wireless speakers. So, we were talking about wireless home theater, and we were talking about wireless stereo, right? So these are the three speakers right now we have that works for both surround and on its own as a stereo. So for example, this is the this is the big brother and the small brother. This is the Music Class 20, the Music Class 50. Either of these, so for example, you can get a pair of Music Class 50 and they become a stereo pair. You can get a pair of Music Class 20 and use them as a stereo pair, right? You can also have both of them linked up together with the Music Class Sub 100, so it becomes a 2.1 setup, right? And in your surround system, you can have either two Music Class 20s, two Music Class 50s, as your rear surround setup, right? And of course, you can use the Music Sub, the Music Class Sub 100 as your wireless subwoofer as well. Hmm? So the whole ecosystem, the whole music class system is not just limited to, you know, a few speakers, a subwoofer and a, and a few sound bars. We have so many devices. We have so many traditional uh, audio devices like a home theater receiver and sound bars that are music class capable as well. And in our case, if you have the Disclavia Inspire piano, you can have live music, live piano playing spread across your house using the music house system. Yeah, it's not just for, for music, it's really for, for, for anything you love. It can be live piano playing, it can be games, it can be videos that you're watching. Yeah, it's really, it's really a wonderful system. And again, Everything is all down to this app, yeah? So you can scan the QR code and download it now. And in the meantime, let me get my app set up so that uh, I can show you how this works. Oh, where did my mouse go? Here you are. Okay, let me switch over now. better. So as you can see, this is a live feed from my phone. This is the Music Cast app. And of course, behind me, this is our shop. So if you come by at Plaza Singapura 06-02, this is what you'll be greeted with. You can come down and look at our home theater solutions. You can test out our soundbars. You can test, test out our home theater systems. Yeah. And of course, you can try out our Music Cast uh, system. So, just to let you know, the first time when you download it, this is what you'll be greeted with. So it's a bit small now because the, 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 the phone streaming system, I'm using it somehow or rather doesn't allow it, but it's fine. So as you can see at the bottom here, there is a demo and setup. So even if you don't have any Yamaha Music Cast devices now, you can download the app, right? You can scan this QR code, download the app. It is on Google Play and is in the App Store as well. Download the app and you can go into demo mode here. And it will let you do everything. You can link devices, you can remove devices, you can change the settings for different devices and things like that, yeah? Okay, so let me go back into the app itself. Okay, let's see what should we talk about now, right? So as you can see, there are a lot of devices here. You can choose images that are already inside for your device, or you can create your own as well, of course. You can, you can take your own photos for that. So let us go through the basics, yeah? So this is the app. It can be on your phone, or it can be on your tablet. So it can be on your iPhone, your, your, your 
um, iPad or your Android phones and tablets as well. Yeah, again, the app is free. Just you can download and try it with me if you want it now. Then to add a device is very simple. At the at the top here. Let's see if I can show it on the screen. Nope. Okay, never mind. At the top right here, there is a gear. And it will bring you to the setting screen. As you can see, there is a option to add a new device at the top here. And then you just follow the different steps. It's very easy. So step one, of course, turn on your device. You can't add your device if you don't switch it on. Yes, okay. And then just press next. For all music cars devices, there will always be a connect button somewhere. Sometimes it is the power button. Sometimes it is a small button beside the power button and things like that. So all you have to do is find the connect button and press and hold for five seconds. Once the light is blinking, then you can press next. So I don't have a device to add now, but uh, basically, you know, it's just a few steps to follow. It's very easy. And once you're done, you have all, you can add so many different devices here, right? So as you can see here, I have the RX V4A. This is a home theater receiver. I have the vinyl, Musicast Vinyl 500. This is our turntable. This is our Musicast turntable. Uh, we have two sound bars. We have the YSP2700 and the YSP5600 here. Both are surround sound capable sound bars. Yeah. We have a stereo amplifier, the RN803. Oh, and we have a Music Cast 50. Mm -hmm. So let me do something first. All right. So what I just did, you don't have to know this, but this was already set up with wireless surround. I'll teach you how, I will go through with you how to set up wireless surround later, right? But for now, for example, if we have two Music Cast 20 speakers like we have here, we have one of them, I've called it surround left, and one of them, I've called it surround right. If I want to use them as a stereo pair, how do I do it? Very simple. I just press and hold one of them. An option will come out at the bottom, room settings. I just tap room settings, right? I scroll down a little bit. There's this thing down here. Do you see it? Stereo setup. I just tap stereo setup. And I say I want to set up the speakers. So... As you can see, there's an option here to use the subwoofer as well. So I just tell the system that I want to use the stereo pair. It has already decided for me that this will be the left. If you want this to be the right, also can. Just tap on it and change. But in this case, we'll keep it as left because we have uh, designated this as the left speaker. When you choose the other speaker, you'll show the other speaker that's in your network. Right now, we have another MusicCast 20, which is named MusicCast uh, Surround right now. So we'll just select that. And we just save it. Let's say I don't have a subwoofer and I don't do it. So it takes a little bit of time. In the meantime, how is everybody doing? All right, so the setup has been a success. So if I wanted to start streaming music to this, I can. Yeah, I can choose all the different things I want to play. If let's say I have a server and I want to play Whatever songs I want to it, I can. So, of course, I won't play any music now because of copyright and all that. But in the meantime, let's let me and let's say you're done. You know, 
you have uh, shifted your furniture around for Chinese New Year and you decided, hey, I don't want to use this as a stereo pair anymore. I want to use this as individual speakers in two separate locations. Very easy. Same thing. Go back to your, the master that you are using, which is in this case surround left, room settings. Go back to stereo setup. Mm -hmm. And then you will see, instead of setup speakers, now you'll see release speakers. So you're releasing the pair up into their individual components. Yeah. So just tap release speakers. Are you sure to re are you sure to release the surround stereo speakers? Yes. Okay. So once you go back to your home, your location, you can see my other speaker is here right now. Okay. Then how do you set up music cast around? It's very easy. So for example, I have a new room. Um, I'm I've I want to do I want to use wireless surround and I want to use a wireless subwoofer as well. Obviously, you go through, you add all the new devices, and you should see something like this. So on top here, I have named living room, I have my AV receiver. I have my two surround speakers that I want to use. I named them surround left, and I've named them surround right. And of course, I have my music cast subwoofer, right? The music cast sub 100. So again, the primary device here is the receiver, right? So we will tap and hold the receiver, the AV receiver, and the room settings will come out. Select room settings. Scroll down a little bit and you should see something called music cast around setup. Just give it a tap, and there's nothing else to tap except set up speakers, right? So we shall set up our speaker. So you don't have to uh, use both together. You can have wireless rear speakers with wired subwoofer. You can have wireless, your, you can use a wireless subwoofer with wired rear speakers. Yeah, you don't have to use them together, but in this case, We'll do both since we have both, yeah? So let me set up my surround left and right speakers first. Just tap this. So first you have to choose which one is on your left. To make it easier, that's why we named our music car speakers surround left or surround right. Right? So for the left, we will choose surround left. And for the right, we will choose surround right. All right? And because we have a subwoofer, we want to use it as well. When you tap on, the system should automatically select it for you. If not, you can just always go back inside and choose it from here. Because usually there's only one... Uh, in most setups, there tend to be one wireless subwoofer. Alright? So you have... Just make sure that you have the correct speakers on the left and on the right portion for your surround system. Make sure your subwoofer is selected, and then press save. Again, it takes a little bit of time. So right now, the system is pinging each speaker to make sure that they are networked together, and that's it. Very easy. And right now, you have a home theater system that is wireless with wireless rear speakers and a wireless subwoofer so what are the other more common functions that we do streaming right so let's say i want to stream in fact right now from this view you can see which devices are playing what for example in fact right now the living room av receiver is playing spotify yeah you can see here whoop Touch the wrong thing. You can tap on it and go to the bottom to see what they're playing now. It's, it's Chinese New Year here, so we have Chinese New Year music playing here. Mm -hmm. Or we can scroll down to, for example, ah, the RN803 looks like it was playing a file from our server, right? Some music from Diana Crow. 
And we have a Music Cast 50 right now. That's playing uh, music from 90.1 FM in Singapore. You can see. Right? And from this control, I can control everything. So let's say I'm not using the Music Cast vinyl player. I can just switch it off from here. As you can see at the top right portion of each individual room or device, you can see a power button here. Yeah? You just tap it, you can switch it off. So for example, I'm also not using the YSP5600 right now. I can switch it off from here. Mm -hmm. I'm not using the A03 as well. I can switch it off from here. Anybody at home with a phone, with an app or with a tablet, with, with this app, they can see everything here and they can switch it on or, uh, switch it on or off. Or for example, somebody else is playing the radio too, so, uh, too loudly and you want to bring down the volume, you can control the volume here from this app. Everything is from here. Or if it's too soft, you can turn it up from here. Yeah, you can mute it. And this screen, there's another important thing. At the bottom right here, if you want to adjust the sound, make some slight changes for your device, beside the volume control to the right, you should see uh, these three bars at the bottom right with three dots on it. Just give it a tap. So for the Music House 50, as you can see, you can choose your different sound programs. There's a, there's a basic equalizer for you to adjust the sound from. Yeah. It's the same for every device. So for example, if I want to make adjustments to my soundbar, I'm watching the 2700 now, I just give it a tap. And at the bottom, I can see that it's, it's connected to HDMI 1, which is uh, our Apple TV, right? Uh, it can be anything, yeah? You can change the labels as well. And right now it's too soft. If I want to bring out the volume, I can adjust it from here. Or I can bring it down. I can mute it if I want to. Oops, I can mute it if I want to. Yeah, you can see at the bottom left. So right now it's not muted. If I tap it, it will light up to show that it's muted. Mm -hmm. And again, same thing at the bottom right, you see the three bars with the three dots. That's where you make your adjustments. You can change your sound program. Different devices will have different uh, settings for you to choose, right? You can, you can adjust subwoofer levels, basic tone controls for treble and bass. Mm -hmm. So this is for the soundbar. And so we were supposed to talk about streaming, right? Okay, for Spotify, it's a little bit different. For Spotify, what you need to do is you go to your Spotify app, right? And it can be playing anything. So what you do is, whatever songs you have chosen, at the bottom, you should see a green speaker near the play button, right? This is where you see all the different devices that you have. So you make a choice, you choose what device you want to play. So as for example, Okay, because right now I'm casting to a system so that you can see it on the screen. I won't be able to do it here. You choose whatever device you want to, give it a tap, wait a little bit, press play, and the music will start appearing on the device. Very easy. For the other streaming services, it's a little bit different. For example, I have a YSP2700 and I want to listen to Tidal. I just tap the screen and you can see here the Spotify Tidal Deezer. I can go to Tidal and I have to log in here, right? So for some programs like Tidal and for Deezer, you have to log in for each device. Mm -hmm. But what's important is that when you do this, you get higher quality streaming because you're not streaming to the device via Bluetooth. And it's more convenient also. So for example, right now, in my living room, I'm playing music from Spotify, right? If you were to use Bluetooth and you switch off your phone, the audio will stop because the audio is actually coming from your phone. Bluetooth basically transmits all the audio from your phone. Whereas 
in this system for Spotify Connect, or in fact for the other apps as well, it is a direct connection from your music cast device to the service that you're listening to. So if I'm using Spotify on my RX V4, the RX V4A is connecting directly to Spotify. Yeah? So it's slightly different. Okay. So this is how you do streaming. And for example, you can have local... Uh, if you have you know a large CD collection that you have converted to FLAC, for example, a, a, a lossless uh, digital file called FLAC, FLAC and you have it on a PC, you can use that as a streaming server as well. And let's say if I want to listen to it again on my YSP2700, I just have to select the soundbar, and as you can see in the middle, there's something called a server, right? Just click on that. Of course, you have to do the requisite settings to set up your PC as a server or your NAS device as a server, and you'll be able to see it here. And then you can see all the different albums that you have. Mm -hmm. and you can start streaming from here. Very, very easy. So what else should we talk about? Let's talk about AirPlay. So for AirPlay, it's interesting. You don't need... For most of the things we have been talking about, phone or tablet, right? What if you have a Mac or even with a PC? If you have a PC with iTunes, you can AirPlay, you can stream to your music card device via AirPlay. All you need to do is look out for this thing right here. So on your, on your Mac or your uh, iTunes on Windows, you need to look out for this icon at the top right. Right, this, this uh, I can't show it to you right now. Let's see if I can bring it up for you. So uh, above this thing called not playing, you can see there is a blue circle with, with a pyramid on it. That is an AirPlay icon. So from here, you can see all the different devices that you can AirPlay to. So even on PC, even if you don't have a Mac, on PC, if you have iTunes, you just click AirPlay and you should be able to see a whole list of all the music cast devices that you can stream to. So like, as you can see here in, in, in our store at Plaza Singapore AV, uh, the AV experience store, we have a lot of things that we, we can stream to. Yeah? And we have spoken about volume control, sound quality, program control. Getting a bit long already, isn't it? Okay. So, two more things to do. One, Bluetooth transmission. You have a sound bar. You don't want to disturb your friends or you don't want to disturb your family and your spouse. How do you transmit to your headphones? Let's say I'm in the living room. You go, you, okay, you select the device that you want, right? Just give it a tap to the bottom of the screen. The playing information go to the bottom right where you do the sound controls and you scroll to the bottom. You'll see this thing called Bluetooth transmission at the bottom, yeah? You just tap that and switch it on. Once you switch it on, you'll be able to... Technically, right now, the device is in pairing mode. So you set your headphones to pairing mode and like as you can see here, I guess you can detect the TV from here, our Panasonic Viera in our room. You can pair with your Bluetooth earphones and it will start transmitting to your headphones. So it's very convenient. So you, have, you can have a home theater system or soundbar even in your bedroom. And when your spouse is sleeping, you know, you can turn on your Bluetooth headphones to listen to what you want. And one more device is linking. Perhaps the most important function here that I've actually not touched on. So let's say I have, I have a turn... My, on my turntable, I'm playing a vinyl now, and I want to link to all the other devices. What do I do? Look at the top left. There's a button called Link, right? Very simple. First, you need to choose your master device. Press Link and choose what, where you want the sound to come from. So in this case, I want to spread my vinyl, right? So my primary, my master room will be 
the music has vinyl, which is this. And then from here, once you have selected that, you can see all the different devices that I can choose to, uh, to link to. So I can spread my music to the living room, to both my sound bars, to my home, uh, to my, to my uh, 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 stereo amplifier, and to my Music House 50 as well. Okay. And once you click OK, oh, my whole house is linked. Everything is listening to whatever uh, whatever vinyl I'm playing right now. And you can even adjust the volume independently. Just give it a tap. Go to the bottom. You can see right now the volume is maximum. At the right, at the bottom right, you can see an arrow. Give it a tap. So if, for example, maybe maybe your 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 kitchen is too soft, you can turn up the volume in your kitchen. If the your study room is too loud, you can bring it down. In the in the thing. So it's okay. It looks like we are going to overtime. It's fine. Right. So yeah. That's how easy it, it is to link. So now my whole house is linked and listening to vinyl. And if I want to release them to, to go back into the old, uh, what it was before, I just go to link, select my master room that I'm linking and remove all the devices. And everything will be back to normal. So hopefully I found this useful. Uh, I won't go into too much details for the other things where actu I've actually taken longer than I should. But, uh, yep. Is there, any, by the way, this is live. If you have any questions I can help you with, feel free to ask in, in, the, in the live chat and I can uh, help you out as much as I can. Hopefully you found this useful. Okay, let's see if there are any questions. Hello, Jonathan. Thanks for your support. I'm glad you like your NS10 speakers. NS10M speakers, yeah. <laughs> John Ocon. Uh, th thanks for your support. I'm assuming you're not based in Singapore. Uh, almost time to sleep. Thanks for watching as well, but uh, we have to follow our time here. In fact, we have, a lot, we have some people asking us to start a bit later. So, I mean, if... John, you know, if you if you really can't, uh, you can always watch our recording later, yeah? But again, thank you for your support. Yeah. Okay. I guess there are no questions. So, this is it for today. I hope this uh, music class live was useful to you. Uh, it, it really showcases the flexibility and and uh, and and the possibilities you can have with a system like music house and uh, sometimes you all you need to get is one or two devices you know position them around your home then you'll click in to really how how flexible and convenient this system is for spreading house spreading your favorite music across an entire home Okay. Is the preamp link for OS? How is the whom is the preamp link for all setup? You can use it as the M for the O setup. So let's see if I can bring it back to the picture. You can use it on a new or old setup. It doesn't matter because from here, it is you have a few connections going out. This has an optical out, and this has RCA out as well. Also, this has pre out, right? So it depends. It's very flexible. What almost you should be able to connect to almost any system that you have. You can have a ten-year-old AV receiver, a home theater receiver with optical input. You can use optical, or you have a you have an even older stereo system with no optical but with only RCA inputs, you know, audio in and all that, then you can use the RCA connection. Or if you have an existing power amp, right, maybe your, 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 your preamp has, has broken down, you can use this as a preamp. 
So it's very flexible. Yeah, Ramel, I hope I answered your question. Like, we don't have much time. We're going to end soon. So if there are any questions, please feel free to ask now. Please ask me now, then I can answer straight away. Any more questions? I'll wait for one more minute. If not, actually, it looks like I've already taken longer than I should. And we'll be ending soon. Thank you, Ramel. Ramal, I hope I got that correctly. Okay. If not, if you are watching this as a recording and you have any questions, feel free to again ask them in chat. Drop us a message on, on, on Facebook message or you can come by to our store to give our music cast system a try. Yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic system, a very flexible, a lot of different music cast products that you can use with depending on your preference for, for, for the kind of audio that you like. You can use it as a home theatre system, you can use it as a, as a, as a, as a audio, stereo audio system, you can use it as a background music system. Uh, yeah, okay. So again, we'll be doing this monthly. For next month, the topic we'll be talking about, uh, going back to basics, we'll be talking about home theatre again. Because the last Facebook Live we did, we did a little bit, it was a bit technical. So this time we would like to, to simplify everything a bit, go down to the basics, you know, the home theatre basics and help you set up your new home theatre system. So uh, see you next month for that, okay? Bye-bye.